I'm going to give you a few pro tips. First one is don't renovate a bus. <laughs> Because it is so hard doing this part. I'm building my own stage. You can tear it down, but I'll build it again. Yeah, nothing's gonna stop me. Breathing in and I'm breathing out. I'm building my own stage. You can tear it down, but I'll build it again. Yeah, nothing's gonna stop me. You can't do your shoelaces and you shouldn't renovate a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, so. Ripping up vinyl, not gonna lie, very difficult. You probably need a bit of muscle to do it. Getting it off the metal is quite easy. I don't know if they've used the correct glue to glue this vinyl to the metal, but hey, this bus is 20 years old and it is still stuck there, so. If it works, it works. All I'm doing is I'm peeling it off a little bit and then I'm slicing small channels like this. Careful not to get the metal. Pull it off a bit more, slice another little channel, and then I'm slicing into the timber with a lot of pressure and peeling up the vinyl. You might get it doing this every now and then. All you do is this is all I'm doing, is popping it off. being as careful as I can not to damage the timber and peeling it back and continuing with a single piece. It's going to take you a little bit of work and it is pretty hard. Woe is me, poopy pants. So that's how I'm ripping it up and I'm not gonna bore you with me doing it endlessly. But yeah, it is a bit of a job. If you don't have the muscle power to do it yourself, Ask some friends because it does take a bit of strength ripping this stuff up. We have Betty doing it a little bit and she's got her injuries and it was... What did you think, Betty? <laughs> Look, I could do the side walls and then yeah. once it got to the wood, that's where it gets hard. Because, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll take the camera. If you can... Here we go, we got some Melbourne happening. <laughs> Marge, Marge, the rains are here. It's on there pretty strongly, especially on the wood. On yeah. the sides, it's actually not as bad. It kind of pops up like quite easily here. Yeah. Um, you get into some glue snags, but not a lot. And if you do, I was just using the Stanley to cut them, but it was more the ripping. And you can see I'm injured. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Well, what's that then? Usually, <laughs> it's life for me. Yeah, but <laughs> that's okay. It's kind of hard to get it because you need the leverage. So when you're on a seat or a crate, yeah. it, um, it's kind of hard to yank it. So, um, so get yeah, some muscle get if you can. Get some muscles, yes. <laughs> so. Thankfully, our floor is pretty good. What I've done with these pieces, I'll show you later, is I've ran a bitumen paint, which is what they seem to have used underneath the bus, is a bitumen paint, and I'll be installing these pieces, fully sealed up, and then I'll, I'll seal it out better. Because I think that the Rosa buses actually come with not quite the best sealing. Oh, you take that back! We'll seal it all up, we'll sand everything back, because as you can see, we've pulled up some of the chipboard, and then we will uh, have a floor without having to saw out or rip up the whole floor and cost us an extra God knows how much, probably a few, if you're gonna use the proper materials, it would be billions and billions and probably a grand, I reckon, at least to replace the, the timbers with proper marine board and to sand off all the glue and repaint everything like, yeah. Uh, this seems like a better option. <laughs> Leave it as it is. We've got a good floor. We haven't had to rip up the whole center section. So, yeah. <laughs>